about to throw some fondant on those three and move on to the next thing. Ooh, we gotta be right there checking me out. <laughs> we are down here in Slocum, Alabama, and on February 14th, we turned one a beehive into four. And I'm here to do a follow-up on that today. It's March 24th, so they've had plenty of time to get things figured out. Let's see how they did. So here are the four colonies that we split. I did come down a few days after the split and uh, many of the bees had come back to the original slot and so I just added a medium on there, but didn't really go through them. Uh, just mentally checked on them. I do believe I put some more fondant on them, but that's about all I've done and I haven't been down here in weeks. To start off on this uh, colony right here, this was a colony that I actually put the queen in from the original colony, which was right over here. It frankly looks a little weak just from looking at the hive entrance activity, so we may, may or may not even have a colony in here, but let's see what we got. We got just a few bees. Now the truth is that original colony was had some queen cells in there and they were gonna probably swarm, so even if we end up with two decent colonies out of this whole thing, that'll be good enough. I'm not too worried about it. It was actually a little bit early in the year to, to do this, this split, middle of February, but I figured what do we have to lose? I'm gonna kind of come over here and see what we have. Quite weak, really just not a lot going on here. I am kind of excited to see what we have. Next door we got some brood, which means we have a queen in here. And oh my goodness, look at this. Down here we actually have evidence of some queens being made. So for whatever reason, they either replaced the queen or she didn't end up in here somehow, I don't know. It was kind of a crazy day that day, but if you look right here, you'll see there's a queen cell that's emerged and the one next door had actually been chewed out, looks like, or something on the side there. And there's a really nice brood pattern. Though this colony looks kind of weak right now, it would appear that we have a queen in here and she's doing her job. Shoot, it's been what, six weeks? Something like that. It's been since February 14th. And so, you know, they've had plenty of time to, to do whatever they needed to do to, to survive and, and make sure they had a good queen. So, so let's see if we can find her. Yeah, we got eggs on this frame right here. So though it looks extremely weak now, it's gonna bounce back quick, I think. Not seeing much food at all. There she is. Oh my gosh, beautiful young queen. Wow, look how pretty she is. There she is right there doing her thing. Man, she's a little flighty. I didn't, I haven't purchased a red marker yet or I mark her. She is definitely a young queen. So I'm not sure what happened to that original queen, but I thought this was the colony I put her in, but she didn't end up in here. If she did, they might've killed her. If you remember that day, for some reason, it seemed like they were bawling her. So maybe they were trying to supersede her at that time. I don't know, but man beautiful young new queen just starting to lay and she is full of energy i'm gonna close it up and leave her alone i'm probably going to go ahead and drop some fondant in here just to make sure they have uh, nutrition to kind of get through the next uh, week or two or however long it takes before her flow kicks in we did have a cold snap early this week i think it actually froze uh, two or three nights ago and so it kind of slowed the flowers down right now we're one for one be interesting to see how they do let's move over to this colony right here all right, colony number two here. Frankly, from looking at the activity of the hive entrance, this one right here was the one I was most concerned about, the first one we did, so. We, I can tell already we got more bees in this one, I think. Mm -hmm. See, I had put, given them some fondant there, some Hive Alive fondant. I'll put a link to the Hive Alive fondant in the description down below too. I do believe it's helped me with my bees the last couple of years. Uh, I think it saved me some serious loss that I could have had. It's just a difficult time here in this area. Uh, the flows are very inconsistent early in the year. We'll have a little flow that'll get them stimulated and then it just cuts off back and forth, back and forth. We had you know, some cold weather in March and things like that. So it just kinda, it's kinda weird. So that's how it is every year it seems. I'm seeing bees, one, one, two, three, about four frames of bees. And you expect that when you split them up like this because you know when you're just taking a bunch of bees from this uh, hive right over here and putting it in three other boxes on the same pallet. Most of the foragers, a lot of them are gonna go back to that donor colony. And so I expect it'll have quite a few bees in it. And these other ones you would expect to be limited. And I did just see the queen's uh, big old hiney up at the edge. So she ran back down. I see her down there. Let me see if I can grab her before she hides. Once again, another young queen. Oh my gosh, y'all look at this right here. Holy smokes. She is doing such a beautiful job. Look at her right there. She's right here. Beautiful queen. She's pretty hyper. New young queen, just doing her thing right here. 
Look at that beautiful frame of brood. Y'all, we are two for two. And she is doing a great job. There's no reason to ever be in a rush when you're checking on your queens after you've uh, put a new cell in there or you've, if you've done a split because, you know, these new young queens, it's, it's just perfectly fine to leave them alone and let them get established in what they're doing. And then when you break it open a few weeks later, you hope to see something like this. But there she is. That's all I need to see with this colony, really. <laughs> two for two. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and feed them fine. Then I think not a lot of food in here. A right, brick like that means there is a active laying queen in there. Uh, it's looking a little weak in here, y'all. Even if this colony is a total flop, I'm excited about the progress because I, I think that, that donor colony will hopefully be okay, but we'll see. I'm seeing some brood, y'all. So that means there's a queen in here too. Oh goodness, that was not a smart thing for me to do. Look at all that brood right there. We've got the pollen around the edges. We've got some brood in here. Looks like we got us a little queen in here laying it up on this next frame over. I'm not so much concerned with the size of the brood or how much there is with the, as I am with the pattern. And it looks really good. There are a few empty spots, but overall that's a healthy brood pattern. And there's the queen right there. Once again, another beautiful girl right here. She's, you can tell she's young. She's a little bit flighty, but she's doing her job right there. So, good stuff. I'm gonna close it up, put a little fondant in here, and let them grow. <laughs> three for three so far. How cool is that? Let's see if we can go four for four. This is the original colony. I anticipate there being a bunch more bees in here than in the last three. Oh yeah, I can hear them. Don't really expect a lot of activity in this top box. I mainly put this on here about a week after we did the splits just to give them a little space because they were really crowded with so many bees coming back. But in here, because there's a bigger workforce, we have a fair amount of nectar being put in here. I haven't been feeding them any syrup at all. It's just a medium, ouch. Yep, must have put my thumb on one. Got me in the thumb. Okay, we've got about five frames of bees down here or so. Maybe six. See if we can find some eggs and brood, and if so, we're going to be four for four. I hope so. We'll see. I'm seeing quite a few drones in here. A couple of queen cups right there. Wouldn't expect any eggs or activity in them, and there aren't. Those may have been there previously. I don't know. So far, not seeing anything too promising, but we're still on the outer edges of the cluster here. Okay, and this, this is mostly a food frame. It's pretty much all a food frame, I believe. It's pawing around the edge. Remember, we saw some nectar coming in in that top box. Seeing a little bit of brood down in there. Let's see what we have. Okay, I'm seeing larva. Yeah, we're in good shape. Larva, milk brood, all kinds of stuff down in there. There we go. Plenty of brood starting to show up. We got brood right here. There's a queen cell right there that, that had a hole in the end. There's some royal jelly in there, so we, obviously we have us a queen in here. Let's just see if we can do a quick scan and find her. We may just have us four brand new young queens. We'll be able to tell by looking at her, I think. This should be a young queen because, yep, she, it, she looks very, she looks really young, just really active and busy. There she is right there. Look at how beautiful she is, man. Look at that brood pattern, really pretty and nice. And all four of these queens will be getting red dots as soon as I get a marker and get it down here. Uh, red is the color for 2023. These young queens are pretty quick. They're not slowly walking around the frames. They're pretty active and busy, but the rest of the bees are pretty calm. All four of these I've been able to work today, you know, with just my veil on and no bee jacket. So that's a good sign. That's more like what I want to have with my genetics. And now what I'm gonna to do to protect her when I put her in, I'm just gonna gently ease this frame down in here and very slowly move it up against the frame next door. Make sure she doesn't get smashed. Another thing you can do is just kind of remove the queen and set her in another area so she walks down between the frames you're not manipulating. That's awesome stuff, four for four. 
So I really think this colony is okay from a food perspective. They're bringing nectar in the top and they got pollen and everything in here. They have a bigger field force, so they're able to better take care of themselves. So I'm gonna just close this one up and then I'm gonna put finding on those other three to help get them through the next uh, couple of weeks or so. I think we'll for sure get some honey off this one and then who knows about these other ones. It'll be interesting to see how they do throughout the year. So overall, I consider this a resounding success. Four for four, all beautiful queens, seem to be well mated with the beautiful brood patterns. It'll be great to see how they do moving forward. What'd you think of that? Leave me a comment down below. Four for four, it just doesn't get any better than that. I'm about to throw some fun on those three and then move on to the next task. If you'd like to see the original video where I broke these splits out, you can watch it right here. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.